What is up guys? Today we're going to be reviewing that case right over there. It's the Raid Max Neon and yes, it is fully RGB on the front and only cost $50. Right now you guys can find this on Amazon for about $50. It fluctuates, especially right now with the PC market the way it is. It kind of jumps around. This case has been as low as $30 for the non-RGB version. And then I think about 50 is the average price for this case. If you guys check it out on Amazon, it is $69 right now. Ha. Huh. But if you guys watch this item, it's probably gonna drop back down pretty soon. Make sure you guys use my affiliate link down below to check this out. And anyways, let's get into the review. So for this review, we're gonna break it down into three parts, looks, quality, and how easy it is to build in. So for a $50 case, this case really did it. In my personal opinion, I think this case looks beautiful. I actually had two PCs listed at the same exact time with nearly the same specs. And this case got a lot more attention than the other one. And I think it's because the fans on the front have the ring versus just like the normal RGB fans that spread through the actual blades. Having the ring light is a huge deal right now in the gaming community for some reason. But in all seriousness, it is a very good looking case. It's very aesthetically pleasing. The acrylic panels are tented, so it's not like you're seeing straight through it. You have a little tent. So if you guys have some ugly computer equipment in there, it may hide it a little. I really think what makes this case look so nice is the simple black look with the RGB. So for looks, this PC definitely got it. Now in regards of quality, it's still all right. For $50, you get what you get. My biggest worry is the acrylic panels. Yes, they are light, so you can move the case around much easier, but the acrylic panels are way easier to scratch versus a normal tempered glass case. So the acrylic has its upsides and downsides, but for the most part, it's decent quality. I didn't run into any huge issues. All the ports on the front seem pretty good. The switches seem nice and sturdy, so they're not gonna be breaking and the feet are very secure. Everything is built pretty well. Now, in regards of how easy it is to build in this case, it's not as great as some of the other cases I've done, but it's not awful. My biggest complaint is that the top of your motherboard is so close to the top of the case, you can't really route any wires over it. There's not near as many cable management ports as some cases like Montex, so this is really its only drawback. Just another few notes that I thought you guys should know before you guys purchase this case is that the airflow is not the best. If you guys are just building like a low to mid tier PC, this is gonna be fine, but the way the front is designed, yes, it looks really pretty, but there's really not a lot of airflow. There's just two little slits on the sides of this case in the front that allows you to get some air in the front and then a little on the bottom where you're able to like pull the front panel off. So there's just not a lot of airflow. And then the rear exhaust fan isn't even a 120, it's an 80, so you can't really get as much exhaust coming out. And plus you don't have any top fan slots. So basically you can max out at four fans on this case, three 120s and then 180. This fan does have a button on the very top that allows you to change the RGB function. I wasn't able to get this figured out. Personally, I think I messed up something when I was hooking up the headers. Still something I need to work on, but yes, you can change the RGBs if you want like just red or blue. On the top, you have one USB 3 and then one USB 2 and then a mic and a headphone jack. And they are metal. They look very nice, actually. So that is my quick review on the Raid Max Neon case. If you guys are interested, make sure you guys use my affiliate link down below. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys on my next review.